the clocks for seconds out here with WBO middleweight champion of the world, Andy Lee. Andy, big fight against Billy Joe Saunders, long time coming, but more importantly, a proper fight. Yeah, real fight. Um, and what, what looks to be a special night is in Town Park in Limerick, in my hometown. It's a homecoming for me after fighting all, all over the world. And uh, yeah, real challenger. The number one contender, the manager challenger. So I know I'm in for a hard fight and I'm doing everything I can to be ready for it. There's two class fighters here, two ex Olympians, two Southport boxers, but we're still expecting an exciting night. Yeah, well, that, that's the similarities. There's a few differences in our style. Um, and I'll be going for the knockout. Yeah. Now you did things slightly different in your career in the early part. A lot of fighters go to America at the middle or end of their career. But you went out there straight away and you were training under the legendary Emmanuel Stewart. And now you're with um, Adam Booth. You've obviously had a lot of experience in America sparring some of the top names and working alongside some of the top fighters. How has that rubbed off on you over the years? Um, it's been very beneficial to me, obviously. Um, I was lucky, very fortunate to train with Emmanuel Stewart and to learn from him and live with him. And now I'm working with Adam Booth, who's who I think will go on to be on parallel, you know, equal to Emmanuel Stewart. Um, so I've got a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge. I've been in all those training camps with, from Jermaine Taylor, um, Vladimir Klitschko, Chad Dawson, Miguel Cotto, all like going on and on and on and learning and training with those guys and then coming to Adam and him building on that foundation and adding the things that I was mi missing. Um, yeah, I believe I'm, I'm a complete fighter. I've got the experience of an old man, really, <laughs> in a young man's body. But, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of experience and I've seen everything there is to see in the ring. And that, that's only a strength that, that I can count on, you know? It strikes me that you're that bit bigger than Billy Joe, both uh, height-wise and, and maybe, you know, physically you're, you're broader. But you were doing 154, like, a year ago. I mean, were you doing that comfortably or was that a bit of a struggle? It wasn't. It, it was a struggle, not only in the sense that I had to be very strict on what I ate, and um, but it was I made it with the same difficulty as I make 160 now, you know, uh, just just cutting out all dairy and uh, things like that, bread and stuff and wheat. So it was just just clean eating. That was all I had to do to make the weight. Korobov then Quillin. That's two tough fights, and then a third one on the spin now with Billy Joe. That's not easy going, and. It, proves that you were a proper world champion. Yeah, and Jackson before that. Jackson undefeated number four in the world. Uh, Karabov number one in the world undefeated. Quillen number one in the world undefeated. Now Billy Joe undefeated number one in the world. So, like I said, I've seen it all before. This is nothing new to me and um, I just have to go out there and do what I always do. What's Billy's biggest strength, do you think, going into this fight? His biggest strength is not something that he does. I think it's his mental toughness. He's a physically competitive guy. And... Um, you can just see the way he fights, even though he'd be exhausted, tired, he still has that will to win, and he'll find a way to win. That's what I think is his biggest strength. Adam Booth was talking to me earlier, and he said that he feels that you've loosened up, actually physically as well as um, you know, emotionally a little bit. You've, you've loosened up, and that will help, that, that lucidness will help you in the fight. Do you think that's the case? You'll be quite relaxed going into this, even though you'll have 33,000 screaming Irish fans? Um, you know, who's, who's to say? I've never f experienced anything like that f before from me. Um, so who's to say I just have to prepare for that, the, the occasion and the atmosphere and deal with that. But yeah, if you look at me from say four year, three or four years ago, um, the Chavez fight, and look at me now, you'll see a completely different fighter. Adam Booth has changed the fighter I am uh, inside and outside the ring. He's done a lot of work for me in terms of management and contracts. So I'm very, uh, I'm in debt to Adam Booth, yeah. Just a quick word about the other middleweights in the world. You can't talk about the middleweight division without mentioning one guy's name, that's Gennady Golovkin. I know you don't want to look past this fight at all, but you're the WBO champion, he's got a belt, you've got Miguel Cotto as well. Unifications would be big, big money fights for you. Are they fights that you would like after this fight? Yeah, uh, you know, I can't look past this guy, and I'm not. But there's always, you know, there's all, that's a, na a natural question, and um, I was signed to fight Golovkin before last year before his dad passed away and then the fight got cancelled and we could do it we could make the fight again you know there's been some uh, tentative talks or HBO have talked to Adam and asked him we'll do and we, yeah we'd be interested in the fight um, we'll see what happens yeah.